Friday morning. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for joining our Friday live. The Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord. Coach Ingrid Hughes here, the CEO and founder of Team Life Changes, where we change lives every single day, starting with our own. You know I'm a health and fitness change agent who helps people get healthier physically, nutritionally, and financially, right? So as I go about interviewing people for as prospective business partners and prospective clients, I hear this theme, at least lately, I've been hearing this theme of self-doubt, like, you know, I'll never look like you, or I would love to earn XYZ income by doing what you do and helping people, but those good things never happen to me. Is that you? Are you living in this constant state of self-doubt and want to be set free from that bondage? I have the solution. Don't know if you're going to like it. It's actually very simple, but then it's not so simple at the same time. So you control your thoughts and you will control your circumstances. So I was reminded of when I was learning how to ride a bike, how I kept falling as soon as one of my parents would let go. Yeah, I needed both my parents to help me ride a bike. I guess I was a little slow on the uptake <laughs> for bike riding. <laughs> so I fell so much that my parents needed a break. My mom said, you know, I was starting to hurt her back from having to lean over. She said I needed a break. And so I started to whine and I was like, I'll never learn how to ride this bike like Sonya can. And Sonya's my older sister. So my mom turned around and she was like, well, not with that type of attitude you won't. When you get sick of falling, you'll get your mind right and you'll do it. She was so right. It's absolutely amazing how right you could be when you, even at such a young age. So I also stopped comparing my journey to my older sister's journey. See, she's three years older than me. So I was comparing my beginning journey to her middle journey, which is silly, because of course she was more proficient and of course she was more confident. She had been riding for a couple of years before I even got started. So just like riding a bike, our health, nutrition, and financial journeys must start from the beginning, but start from our beginning and not somebody else's middle. So when you're tired of mediocrity and you're tired of judging your journey based on someone else's, get started by controlling your thoughts and watch it control your circumstances. Well, how, Ingrid? Well, I'll tell you what I do to control my thoughts. For me, it's daily prayer, daily time in the Word of God, and daily reading or listening to some mind-building personal development books. But see, listen. What good does it do if we only complain about our circumstances but never ever implement a single thing to change them? God loves you and so do I have a blessed and healthy day. What kind of changes are you gonna to implement to change your circumstances to start controlling your mind? I love to hear about them. Go ahead and post them below. Bye now.